Thank you. At least I don't have to pay you. Do I have to pay you? Yes. What? I have to pay you? Yes. Wait a minute. Let me see if I, I need to pay you. Okay, tell me one more time. Do I need to pay you? Yes. Yeah, how much do you want? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Okay, do you take Bitcoin? I have Bitcoin. Hello, Corey. Uh, yes. ba bad news, very bad news. Uh, the charging station does not really work. So uh, uh -huh. we, we have 60, about 60 kilometer range left. This is not supposed to be yes. dramatic, but now we're going to have a dramatic day. So you come back to the charging station and we work out a plan from here, see if we can still limp to Byron or not. I'm not sure. Yes. Okay? Okay. Come over now. Look up kilometer distance, Kingsley to Byron. Uh, I'll, I'll check it. Uh, you come here first and then we check together. Okay. I'll All right. Now. Bye. All right, people. Uh, first section of the video for today, Surfing Angels episode. I don't even know. <laughs> Six or seven or eight. Who cares? All right. I mean, you just keep watching, man. Just keep watching. Um, why do I have a main cast BMW as... Um, main cars because we create dramas yeah if i drive a gasoline car it'd be so boring right driving an electric car that's tiny that's ugly that is made of carbon fiber that's actually designed like a truck and there's nobody wants it not even bmw wants it and with such a short range in such a vast country like australia surely i create drama i didn't want to but this is our first one of the day let me show you what, what do I mean by that. Okay, not exaggerating. My range is 65 Ks left. 65 Ks left. Okay, so as you can see, let me show something. Ah, uh, this charging station, I haven't been here for a long time because New South Wales was locked down for someone like me because I'm not vax. So I couldn't enter the state until Today, today is the first day I'm actually officially be able to come to the state. I'm of course taking advantage of that because today's the theme is day game. Day game. I don't know what you, if you know anything about day game or not, but I've been doing day game with um, Corey since he is 17. So preparing himself for this. And uh, he sucked at this at the beginning, but we're going to get better and better and better at day game for him. All right. So short introduction to a charging station like this. Charge box. I have reset this whole thing, but it's not working. They added additional cable, obviously, it doesn't work either. So, let me just plug this back in. This is where the Type 2 charger goes in, and this is not gonna work. By the way, we accept Bitcoin Cash. Anybody have any donations for me? Please uh, give, me, give, me, give me some money. Uh, I can use this as a um, uh, let's say free money for other people. Let's say you donate some money for me. I'm gonna take the money and send it to people randomly as a gift. Now this is how you close the book space here in front. All right. Anybody who's gonna use this car with us is gonna learn. I still haven't bothered to fix the backside yet. We delivered the charging station yesterday. So in theory, if they have a PowerPoint outlet, I could plug this one in, but this is charged so slow, don't bother. No point. Look how much space there is. Imagine I remove the seat in the back, uh, in the front, then this becomes whole empty space and I can put my leg all the way out, stretch out to the, to the, to the front. Look how much space there is. All I have to do is remove the seat on the left and make sure this whole thing becomes flat. Then this will be my new, brand new, Electric camper van, the smallest one in the world. Less than four meters long. All right, probably the nim most nimble one and the fastest one too. Where we are right now is the King's Cliff. On that side is the beach. I'm waiting for Corey to come back from the beach. I think his car is parked here somewhere, probably. If not, he's gonna drive in with his mini. I hope he comes soon because we have solved the problem of the distance. He's, um, uh, he lives nearby, let's just say this. He is a Byron Bay resident. Let's call it that way. He lives within the distance of Byron Bay, and this is also within distance of Byron Bay. I, I don't see his car, so maybe he drove with his car to the beach. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Either way, 
Charging station useless. Come on, charge Fox. Catch up. Catch up. Okay. Let's see how far do I have to go. Let's find out. Let's find out how far do I do can I make it? 65 Ks. I'm type into the GPS now. Um, Byron the farm or something. I'll just type in Byron Bay. 44 minutes. Oh, that's tight. Okay, yeah. 44 minutes, the fastest route, and the distance is 60 Ks. 60 Ks. And remember, we have only range of 65 Ks. So I have 5 Ks to spare. 5 kilometers to spare. The good news is there's a charger at the um, the farm. So in theory, I should be able to make it. Let's see. The farm Byron. That's 35 minutes from here. 54 Ks. Yeah, 54 Ks. So you can see we are here and you know what we're gonna instead of driving this is to take longer more distance because in this car it's all about the distance not about the speed i'm gonna drive this way the more scenic route if we drive the more scenic route might take a bit longer but the um, actual distance is slightly shorter this one here i think it's shorter let's double check 52, yeah, 52 kilometer less and a lower speed as well. Therefore, the consumption should be lower. I should be able to make it. So from Kingscliff with 34% charge left, indicated range of 65 Ks. And worst case, we switch on this thing here. See this button, press down here. And what will happen is we'll go into Eco Pro's mode. So in Eco Pro, it predicts to have a range of 68 Ks. So we just need 52 Ks. Yeah. I know it's all pretty crazy for our gasoline car drivers, right? And that people can calculate this tight for range for electric cars. You must be turned off like crazy right now. But the cool thing about electric cars is it's a very predictable range. Once you start using the car you're using, the range become incredibly predictable, which means I have extremely high confidence that we will make it to the farm. And the farm has two charging stations, both fast chargers. In theory, we can show you guys how fast this, can, this car can recharge because then we're gonna arrive at the charging station with almost no charge left. And if the universe is willing, and I want to communicate now with the universe, say, please, dear universe, give us a charging station, plus give us a memorable experience at the farm because the farm is our favorite uh, gaming station. I call it a gaming station, not video games, real life games, okay? Today's theme is a day game. So I want you to understand in the long term, I want to run a school or run a, um, a program where you guys can come to Gold Coast, enjoy the lifestyle like you see here on this channel, in the episodes, flying with us, surfing with us, boating with us, meet people with us, trading crypto with us. But most important, since all my audience is male, I want to teach you how to finally talk to girls properly, how to get your girls and others out there. He is, wait, Corey's just rolled in in his fantastic mini. Okay, let's, let's go talk to him. Okay, the mini hasn't been repaired yet, so the uh, bump is still there, but no worries. The car is fully functional. All good. Fantastic. Hey, how are you doing? Good morning. Well, thanks. Yeah, sorry for the for the boring time that you had to wait on the beautiful beach. That uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you had to look at some girls in bikinis and those things. That's just a stupid way to wait for some guy. Yeah, it's right? pretty tedious to be honest. Yeah, really. I mean, this is where all the young girls come for holiday. I think in this area, some of your schoolmates are coming here too, don't yeah. they? Kingi is trendy. Yeah, Kingi is trendy, and that means a lot of young kids come here. But today we go to an even better place. So I already made an introduction in the video. Say today is a game day. Mm -hmm. Game day. You you game. Yes. Good. Game. Your game. Okay, cool. So, what I would suggest to do is just park the car under the cover. I don't believe they're going to tow you. 
Don't worry about the three hour parking only. I've never heard of them towing anybody or finding anyone. Just park on the car with me in case it rains. And then we go from here. I will let you um, drive my car later. Right now I will drive first. Yes. And I'll give some introduction stuff like that. And you film me in the process while we're driving. Is that good? Yeah, sounds good. Hello everybody. Now we are on the way to Byron Bay. So we're taking, we're taking the scenic route. We're taking the scenic route because uh, I'm short on charge. And at the same time, we we'll give you guys some tourism idea along the way from between Gold Coast and Byron Bay. So Corey can definitely comment as a local. I already introduced him as a Byron Bay local boy. He basically lives within half an hour drive from Byron. Anybody live within half an hour driving from Byron? For me, it's a Byron Bay resident. And oh gosh, how do I drive this one? So, Corey, feel free to comment anytime you want because people can hear your voice pretty well. Yeah. Are you a Byron Bay resident? Resident? Yeah. No, but local, sure. Yeah. Actually, where where does Byron start and stop? For me, I don't even know where to start and stop for Byron is because the, all the famous stuff in Byron, they're not in Byron. Yeah. Like like the. Um, Byron the Farm is the most visited tourist attraction in Byron Bay, mm. called The Farm. It's just outside of Byron. It's outside of Byron. Yeah. It's not even Byron at all. It's not even Byron at all. When you when you enter and exit Byron uh, uh, on the highway, you see the sign for Byron this, Byron that. Mm. None of that stuff is in Byron. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even in the Byron <laughs> Not sure if it's in the same shire or not, but either way. People like that brand. So anything, everything in that, we seen have a have a half a day driving distance somehow you know, <laughs> it's Byron Bay <laughs> so in theory I'm a Byron Bay uh, uh, let's say neighborhood I'm in the Byron's neighborhood okay yeah. so what I'm really doing right now is um, driving from Kings Cliff to to the neighborhood of Byron along the way we're gonna pass by what do we pass actually what kind of location do we are we gonna see well, which route are we taking? We're taking the scenic route. Uh, so we're going like along the coast, not yes, along the highway? Yes, we're going along the coast, yes. We're not taking the long, shortest distance. Well, I'd assume we'd probably go Kingy, Cabarita, uh, Potty, Wuyang. Don't, don't then... use the local terms. People don't understand you. <laughs> you, 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 you. Kingscliff, Cabarita, Pottsville. You'd go through Wuyang and then probably up onto the range. Okay, Byron cool. Range. Because while you're talking, I'm blind, uh, blending in some... GPS coordinates or maps or pictures mm -hmm. somewhere on, on the side so that people from, from around the world get the idea where we are. Yeah. Uh, when you keep saying Kingy, they get a map <laughs> where we're speaking. Where, where the heck is that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful drive. I do the circuit often. Yeah. That's your standard route. I, I told you you should be driving yes. when you got your car because you want to get used to the environment, and take the girls out for a drive. And here is also for the first time we're gonna okay my episodes from here onwards are all gonna be very very long but oh yeah beautiful that's where they come for paddle boarding and jumping off the cliff jumping off the bridge so all the young kids come here to show off each other to each other let's say yeah. so from here onwards my format has changed I'm no longer doing 10 minutes uh, sit, standing in front of static location talk about Bitcoin cash in fact I've already talked about Bitcoin cash is that this is a lifestyle show now, okay? So Gary, get used to it. We're gonna have long takes, long conversations, and boring segments, whatever it is. Just this is a TV reality TV show, mm -hmm. and I'm I suck at the editing, so I'm, I don't even bother edit that much. Instead, whatever comes to my mind, I will just say it. You don't like it? Switch off. Go watch something else. There's enough cat videos out there for you to watch. <laughs> yeah. Here's this is reality. I, I cannot pretend to be some. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look at the license plate in front. You know what that means? This is the sign. Hey guys, look at that car's license plate. G I Z Triple One. It's a E sixty three AMG. But what I tell you guys, okay, uh, this is live. Live. This video is more or less. Uh, that's enough. Okay, come back. Zoom out. Come back for me. Did I did I put this car in front of us? Nope. Do you know how rare is this car? A E sixty three. That's a super rare car, first of all, okay? Super rare. Uh, this is literally the first E63 I've ever seen. And on top of that is a New South Wales license plate, plus it's a triple one license plate. 
Is that a Queensland license? It's New South Wales license plate. That's New South Wales, yeah. But it doesn't look like a New South Wales license plate. Uh, uh, New South Wales license plate doesn't normally look like this. It looks more like yours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This looks like a Queensland plate. It's slightly smaller, yeah. No, not just that, the way the numbers are displayed. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You notice that? Like your number is a, a digit and a letter, letter, digit, digit, then letter again. That's the standard way. That's the standard New South Wales plate. Yeah, yeah. This is not a new, this is a Queensland style plate, but registered in New South Wales. I think New South Wales is Different. letter, 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 digit, digit, letter. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That has three letters. So this guy, he also used the color scheme of a new uh, of a Queensland plate. So he's trying to blend in into the Queensland environment because he probably works in Queensland. Okay, he's gone now. So he lives here. He's a rich man. So he probably works in Queensland, but live in New South Wales. Not a bad life. Yeah, but he's imitating the local by imitating the license plate of a <laughs> Queensland plate. The, even the color scheme, the size, the shape, everything. I thought it's a Queensland plate. But all in all, I want to show you guys, when I see a play like that, what does it mean for me as an Earth Angel? I know that the universe is sending me a signal that today is a very, very special day. Where literally just at the beginning of the day, right now it's 10.30, and we're on the right track. But best of all, we're actually on the right track because originally we're not even supposed to be here. We're supposed to go to play beach volleyball today, mm. right? Yeah, my day has been chaotic so far. Yeah. I woke up too late, rushed around trying to have breakfast, had to do some jobs, quickly hopped in the car to race up to get volleyball, and then it was told weather's bad, not many people, go to Kingy instead, so yeah. here we are, and now new place, new time, new plans. So, you, yeah, so none of this thing's scheduled. It, I don't plan people, right? Mm. I, sometimes people think I'm planting girls, or boys, or people. Like like one of the video I, I posted with the singer from Melbourne, some people told me, sent me a message say, I know you planted the girl. You gave her a signal that she walked into the frame. Nothing further from the truth. My life is like that. And same thing today in the morning. Our plan was completely different. And now we changed the plan. Everything's changed. So because what I do is I listen to the universe. When the universe gives me a signal, I accept and move on. And I already knew early on that I'm supposed to go to Byron early on because the weather's bad plus we had tsunami warning. Did you hear about the yeah, tsunami warning? Yeah, I saw that when I was so talking a, about... So a, a volcano blown up in Tonga. Sorry for Tong Tonganese. I hope that's the correct word. Tongans. I think yes? Yeah. I don't know. I don't live there. Never been there before. If the island still exists after this thing, we'll go visit one day. <laughs> and the thing is that we... Um, uh, we didn't plan any of the stuff. Right now, we're just driving towards uh, the next uh, part of the destination. And seriously, when I saw that plate, that tells me this. Today, something special, special, special is going to happen. What that is, I don't know. It's a surprise. The script writer for my life is the universe, not me. I'm just an actor. I act according to the rules and uh, wishes of the universe. I'm an agent, more or less, yeah. Uh, so, the only difference between me and most other people is I'm extremely in tune with the universe. When I see a sign like this, when I can sense something, I know I to move on. And Corey is still young, he's still training, so he does not understand all this yet, but so far the ride has been pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I'm not forcing you to be with me, do I? No. I'm not saying, Corey, you must come along. If you don't come along, you get the penalty points and any of that stuff. No, this is just the most exciting way to live my life. Yeah. So uh, some people think I'm, I'm putting you on the wrong path and then I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the bad advice. You're, yeah, I'm, I'm manipulating you because uh, I'm older, you're younger, you don't know anything in life. What do you say about that? Well, if I look at the way other people who are your age end up at that stage in their life, I don't really want to end up like that. And <laughs> you have a pretty cool life. And uh, no, I just want an extraordinary life. And yes. um, this is a fun way to live and good way for personal growth. Um, like no one else, I get challenged and learn new stuff yes. um, every single time. Yes. I, you know, go places and everything like that. And just conversation, I learn new stuff and have grown so much over the last few months or so. Yes, um, absolutely. Now you're a full adult, so now we can finally do everything we always want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, so today, we the theme of today is uh, enjoy our day on Sunday in Byron. At the same time, if there's gaming opportunity, we're going to game a little, mm -hmm. right? So for those people who don't know what that means, it's day game. Day game is very important, especially socializing with the other gender. 
in a fun, flirty way, it doesn't mean we're gonna go get your girlfriend. Okay? Don't get me don't get me wrong. If we meet the girlfriend of the future for Tori today, I'll be more than happy. If it's your future wife, I'll come to your wedding. But the thing is, we don't have those kind of intention in mind. Instead, the intention we have in mind is simply having good time, providing a good time also for the other gender. Slightly flirty, but nothing serious. But the key is that having a good time. Yeah, day That's game. Is. You don't go doing day game for the purpose of trying to get a number or pick up or no, anything like that. that. It's simply just to uh, improve your social skills and enjoy the presence and try to create connection and Correct. create a good time for everyone. Correct. Correct. Sometimes we even do, do, do game, day games with uh, guys, but most of the time the, the most fun you always have with day game is always with the other gender. For sure. Right? Yeah. Of course. Well, who doesn't? I mean, hey people, tell me, do you prefer me to talk to a young pretty girl or old old ugly man? <laughs> Just tell me. Tell me sincerely. If you, everyone votes for the old ugly man, I'm going to talk only to old ugly men. But I bet everyone in this, uh, in this audience wants to see us talking and failing at talking to young pretty girls, right? Oh, you've seen me failing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not too bad, not too bad. No, what they really want is to see me fail. However, I have to disappoint you. I'm a master in day game, okay? Uh, I'm, 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 I, I actually, honestly, honestly, I think there's only few people on the internet who I watch, I think they're better than me in day game because this is their speciality. I, day game is my hobby, not my speciality. My speciality is time travel. Day game is just a hobby. And Corey, do you still remember the very first time I, I, I didn't tell you that I was doing day game? I did day game in front of you. Yes. With Bronte. Yes, I remember that. You very remember clearly. that? I remember walking out of there, and I'm like, "That's magic. That is so cool. How did you do that?" Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was just a random, random. I didn't even plan to do yeah. anything. I literally just want to demonstrate to him. Uh, what is a fun way to live your life? Yeah, and you weren't even deliberately going and no. seeking out no. any connection. You were literally no. just standing in a coffee line, like talking, and then someone invited the, us to their table and we exactly. got chatting. And exactly. That all happened very organically. And that somebody, in case uh, Bronte is still watching us, I don't think she's watching us because you screw up big time. <laughs> <laughs> you call her like a stalker, so that was bad, but that was okay because the first time I also, she's a bit older than. Uh, she's too old for you anyway. She's 22, I think. She's too old for you. Yeah, wrong wrong age for you. Yeah, you need someone younger. 16 to 18, that's the age uh, Corey should be gaming. 21, 22 year old girls, you should leave those to me. Uh, that's my correct. <laughs> <laughs> and most people think, wow, what a creep. Why does this guy go around and talk to young girls? Hey, guess what? Have you ever heard about um, the um, SMV charts? The sexual market value charts for men and women. If you're not, you should go start swallowing red pills. Okay. The reality is simple. Women's um, maximum SMV is tit tops at what do you reckon, Corey? What 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 age does the girl tops out in her SMV? Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, twenty three. Like that just happened to be the age of Georgia, but that is not pure coincidence. Nothing special. She's my friend. She's my uh, twin sister, I'm not gaming her, so just don't get wrong ideas. Uh, some people just commented in my last video about the test drive, say, "Oh, beautiful interracial, interracial couple." I think that's what the guy wrote. I, I was sneak, sneak, uh, I was laughing because what I'm really doing is teaching Georgia get day game as well because um, she's single, I'm single, we're all single, everyone's single. I don't know anyone who's uh, connected to anybody else um, emotionally speaking, so. I'm, I'm teaching her day game from, uh, uh, for a female and um, at the same time she's my best wing lady or wing girl, let's call it that way. Georgia is my wing girl, okay, don't get me wrong, if I need her to, uh, to game, I need a wing girl, she will be the first person I take with me, yeah, okay, so that has been clarified. Now back to the men's SMV, so um, Corey, what do you think the men's SMV? At what age does a man pick out at his sexual market value? Mm. I think age for guys may matter a little less yeah. um, because there are other things which have a greater influence. Yes. Um, 
like confidence and status and resources and social yes. skill and Absolutely. ability and stuff like that. But there is um, a common age at which they generally, the if I had to put an age on it, yeah. maybe like 38 or 38. 40, maybe. Yeah. 38, 40, that's correct. That is absolutely correct. That's the reason our dear friend Christian gets so much interest everywhere he goes. He's 39. And he goes wherever he goes or 38. I don't remember. Chris, you look like 25. So Chris, let's make Chris 25, but he's actually life experience around 38, 39. Uh, here's we are at the Cabarita Beach. Yeah. A lot of people. We can give everybody a short no, they don't really see anything here, so never mind. Okay. We just keep talking. This is just a rough, it's too busy anyway. Yeah. So, based on this, I reckon Byron will be full on today. If Cabarita Beach is this busy today, I guarantee you Byron will be full of mm -hmm. targets. That's gonna be a target rich environment, okay? We're gonna have fun today. So, so someone like uh, Chris, my friend Chris, he is at the, the peak of his SME. Would you agree? Yeah. 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 You, don't, you can't believe how many girls throw themselves at him literally throw themselves at him and he can spin plates like there's no tomorrow if he wish to it right now he's not spinning plates so just in case the, the, the girl in uh in in, Tas uh, in, in Tas <laughs> romania in romania the future wife of chris in romania uh nina mm. hi how are you doing so i just want to say chris is not spinning plate on you okay he's not spinning play down you. Chris and has very other priorities right now. No, he has completely different priority. He's settling down. He's looking for the perfect one. He wants to have babies. So, Nina, get ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's just another prediction I'm making in this video. So, um, other than that, uh, basically, the most optimal age you want the game is actually for guys starting at, let's say, 30, between 30 to 45, that's the range of age if you're a man. Between that age, you have the easiest way to game. Because like Corey is, for Corey is hard, really hard. Because he's only 18, he just turned 18. It's extremely hard for him to learn game with without anything to show. But the good thing is Corey has already learned so much and he already has something to show. His early indicator of success are there for everybody to see. He paid in cash, full for his own first convertible. That is not a cheap car, it's a, it's a two year old car. Don't forget when he got it, it's a, just a two and a half years old car. So, uh, girls like that car, don't they? Yeah, yeah most yeah, people I think get so they much know, attention. It's true, it's, you, girls like that car. Yeah, yeah. but the, the key is not using the car to, to just uh, to try to sleep with somebody. Instead, it's about social interaction. Yes, so that was always the intention as yeah. a social lubricant. Exactly. And it works. I mean, I get so much attention. As a result of it, and allows me to start so many conversations. Exactly, and it's fun. I mean, it brings happiness to lots of people. Yes, absolutely. And the key, the key again, is about creating a harmony and happiness and positive energy between you and the person you are interacting with. Yes, that's all there that is. That's day game. And if you do get day game well enough, you convert as many day game partners into friendships. Mm -hmm. And then some of the friendships will become uh, romantic relationships. And some of the romantic relationships will become long-term partnerships. And some of the long-term partnerships will become marriages. This is how you go up and not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Most people think you want a romantic relationship, you have to start with the sex. No, you don't do that. Oh, How do you call this place? Uh, this is Hastings Creek. Hastings Creek. I came here swimming right. almost every weekend when I was a little kid. Right, yes, it's quick. Is this busy today? Very, yeah. This is very busy. Today. Yeah. Okay, at least this section is easier to film. Much, much easier to film. Yeah, and Australia for everybody. So, what this is normal. That creek there was my childhood. <laughs> that was a childhood. And here it's only 20 minutes away from Byron Bay. It's only 20 minutes away from Byron Bay. This is Corey's childhood. So anybody from overseas who wants to date Corey, remember this is how he grows up. <laughs> That's his childhood. We can go and look at it if you like. Nah, it's all right. Uh, today we don't have much time, unfortunately, because you want to be at the right time and mm -hmm. the right spot. Yes. That's what I was teaching Corey early on. You do, let's say imagine the farm is the perfect spot mm -hmm. for gaming. Mm -hmm. However, if you go there in the middle of the night, there'll be no one there, right? Yes. So Corey, tell me when is the best time to arrive at the farm? 
What do you think? Late morning to early afternoon? Yeah, so late morning to early afternoon, that sounds like lunch time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a long winding way to say lunch. And when we arrive, our expected time is 12 o'clock, 12.15. Mm-hmm. So we're a bit late, but not too late. So a lot of, because today is Sunday, don't forget today is Sunday. A lot of people wake up late. So 12 o'clock arriving at um, the farm is actually a pretty cool time to interact with people. Yeah. yeah. At the farm was, I think, the very first time you ever started teaching me game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the girl? Yeah. Yeah. She was behind the counter. Mm-hmm. Do you I still remember. remember what she was wearing? Wearing? Yeah. No. What a big wonder her face. I remember everything about her. Yeah. But I have visual, perfect visual memory, so I'm cheating here. Do you remember her earring? Her clothing. She was wearing the uniform uh, ap- ap- apron. Do you remember her hair? Her curly hair. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. She was beautiful. Oh, yeah. she is probably still is beautiful. It's only like how many months ago? Not that long. Ten. Long. Ten months ago. So, guys, for the first time, we can reveal that ten months ago we started for the first time uh, showing Corey how to game, and you were clumsy as. <laughs> but that's okay, I was clumsy too when I age of 17. In fact, at 17, I didn't do any gaming. So, uh, but this is how we grow, this is how we men become who we are. No man become masters of the universe by just sitting in this bedroom and do nothing. You had to go out and experience mm-hmm. life. And this is the reason what we do with Corey today is continuing his journey. And uh, your, I wonder, some of your school friends watch me, right? Perhaps some of them, some may not that many, but some of them. But most of them watch your Instagram, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. probably they don't have long enough attention spam to watch a one hour plus video. So, however, that doesn't matter to me. Any of these friends who wants to learn what you are learning, so they should just watch these videos that we make and see what you do and go out and do the same thing. Mm-hmm. One thing I've learned about social skills from learning from you is previously I thought about it like. You know, or some people are good socially, some people are not. Some people are extroverts, some people are introverts. Either you're a social person or you're not. But now I've realized that it's just literally like any other skill, like yeah. golf or chess or surfing yes. or whatever. You start exactly. out, you're terrible and you're clumsy and you're not good. But if you really put effort into it and really practice again and All again right. and again and think about consciously trying to learn yeah. to get better socially, then you will. It's literally a skill that you have to learn and put effort into. All right. And it takes failure at the start a lot of failure correct and you have to grow and learn through that correct absolutely 100 percent correct i couldn't summarize that any better the thing is um and a lot of people watch my video thinking i'm an extrovert so maybe you can tell people am i extrovert or introvert you're an introvert really? exactly i'm introvert total introvert uh, by the way georgia my twin is also introvert so <laughs> if you know what she has done in her life you will not believe me <laughs> we introverts rule the world <laughs> are you an extrovert or introvert come on me yeah i'm definitely introvert for yeah 100 sure. percent introvert i have 100%. to consciously put effort into yeah. getting better socializing and correct making it an effort. correct and the easiest way and for those audience out there who don't know how do you know is an introvert or extrovert it's a very simple way to test it if you are extrovert you go to a party you start with no energy. At the end of the party, you will be, you will be full of energy. Mm-hmm. An introvert go to the party full of energy. At the end of the party, he's empty. Yes. <laughs> he spent all his energy <laughs> because he used it up. <laughs> that is the difference between extroverts and introverts. I can still continue going, right? Yes, yes, yeah. this is the way. Yeah, so... <laughs> when I go do anything socially I start I had to prepare myself emotionally physically and energy wise to get spent mm. and at the very end of the day my energy is all spent I'll be empty like a, a empty balloon but the true extrovert go to the party he is the empty balloon he then soak up the party he then socialize and fill up his energy that's how he become full of energy at the end of the party and that is the easiest way for you to know are you introvert or extrovert that's it no that's the simplest character test for this and you can't change that 
There's nothing you can do in the world to change it. You can do anything you want, train as much as you want. Can't change it. By the way, the shaking part is not because the car is bad, because I have a torch light here. And I also have an axe. <laughs> Anybody who wants to attack me, you have to come overcome my uh, carbon fiber axe made in Finland. Fiskars. So, that explains the shaking. The car is great. It's just sometimes this happens. Okay, now back to the main topic of gaming. What is uh, what do you think? What should be our uh, uh, operating procedure today? There's a plan for everything. What's our plan? What should it be? You're, you're seeing me operating a few times. What would I be doing? What do you guess what I would be doing? Start with the moment as I arrive at the farm. What do I do when I arrive at the farm? Park in the most visible location possible. Correct. In this case, I didn't charge my car, so it's anyway super, super visible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What What do I do next? That's the system behind everything. What do I normally do next? Find a walk around or find a good location and observe. Yes. Observe. How long do I take for observation? Well, you can do it while we're talking. Yes. Um, so, five or ten minutes. But people wouldn't notice I'm observing. Yeah, but observing is a very important step of the process. But it's not like you're actually going around and scouting and walking around and stuff. You're just absorbing the environment while yes. you're there. Correct. And then what comes next? I'm giving away my game plan. <laughs> you are giving away my secrets. Okay, go ahead. You have my permission. Yeah. Then, after observing then create a frame which you invite other people to enter subconsciously. Correct. That's correct. What could be? What 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 I could do to create that frame to make that happen? Well, in the past, what we've done is, like, this was totally subconscious. I didn't even realize it was happening. But we're just having a conversation out loud. Out loud. Like, near a group out of loud. people. And then other people hear it. And then they're listening for a while. Yeah. And yes. after a while, they just get kind of... Um, catalyzed, they, they just want to um, add something to the conversation or Correct. just introduce themselves somehow or give some piece of advice about whatever we're talking about. Correct. And I don't ask them to enter, never. No. I never ask them to enter, instead... There's I no gestures, there's no, no invitation. We just create like an open, like yeah. a table. Just yeah. let out the ta lay out the table with the food and the people just want to enter. Yeah. Correct. That's it's, exactly a, it's a very, um, kind of like a less active way of game. There's no, you're not going out and actively introducing yourself to someone. No, you're just allowing them to come to you. Correct. And then what do I do? Then they've entered when they introduce themselves or add some piece of advice or whatever or enter our frame. Mm. Then you have control over the frame. Yes. Do I ever leave my frame? No. Most of the time not. Sometimes I make an exception. Mm. But most of the time I never leave my frame. I never leave my frame. Do I make sure that I always have full control over my frame? Yes. 100%, absolutely, at all times. Anytime my frame gets disturbed or disrupted, what do I do? Regain control of the frame. Regain control of the frame. I don't chase rabbits. Mm -hmm. I don't chase random rabbits down the hole. Mm -hmm. Never. So, now the problem here is, for the people who are not socially aware or who have low emotional intelligence, they will think I'm manipulative. Mm. That's the problem. They think this is a manipulation tactic. In reality, what I'm really doing is uh, creating the environment to create the results I want. Yes. That's all there is. It's a bit like this. Before you go to the gym and train properly, you need to warm up. Mm. That's the equivalent of a warm up for a gym routine. If you want to gain muscle, you have to do certain things, but the op most optimum way to start your exercise is to start with a warm-up routine. So, what happens after the person entered the frame and stayed in our frame for long enough? And normally what happens at the end? Um, you just create a good experience, and so yeah. they want to keep in touch or Correct. create exchange details. Correct. So when, when I ask somebody for his content, uh, contact or information and yeah, that stuff, happily give. they will happily give me. I'm yes. not the one who says, hey, you must give me your Instagram, you must give me your phone number, none of that stuff. Yeah. 
So, for those who have seen me in real life before, so now you know, nothing I do is accidental. And there's one important step here is the selection process that Corey didn't go into detail. But that's all good because now we have explained enough how the game works in in the simplest possible term. And then we're gonna do real life gaming, recording it potentially. I'm not sure how we can make, make everything organically recording everything. Maybe acting as tourists. To my mind, I'm thinking about maybe I'm just acting as tourists. Okay, another thing what really helps a lot is I don't use extraordinary props like the camera phone we're using right now is just standard iPhone 13. Yeah. Why don't I use a five thousand dollar DSLR with the auto equipment and all the stuff? Why I don't do that? Because it's kind of intimidating. Exactly. Funny enough, if you shove an iPhone in front of someone's face, nobody cares. Yeah. You shove a real camera in front of the face, they start to change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the iPhone actually creates amazing footages. Yeah. Just like right now, I can imagine there's a bokeh effect behind me and all the stuff. I noticed that the iPhone 13 does bokeh extremely well. And so we're going to try to capture some footages today for everybody to watch. I cannot promise how much footage we can get, but we try our best, right? Yeah. But nothing beats real life game. So after you guys have watched what we do, and remember nothing scripted, maybe this entice you guys to come join us on the Gold Coast. Come to us, enter our frame, <laughs> <laughs> pay me money for the process, but then I change your life. I change your life forever. Yeah. Corey is the only person I coach for free. Anybody else who needs coaching in life, I don't do this for free. I actually have people contact me over the Instagram asking me for coaching services. I haven't said yes yet. But let's just say I'm getting ready to do that. But for coaching and other things, nobody's time is free. And we will make sure that it's worthwhile your time and worthwhile my time. Okay, now we cut the footage here, driving the rest of the trip to Byron. Okay guys, we're at the farm. Hello everyone. So as you can see, I talked to the universe asking for charging stations. Both of us can be used. So this is how rare it is here in Byron. Normally this posts are usually occupied, fully occupied by Tesla drivers. Byron has a lot, a lot of Tesla drivers. So I usually come here has to fight for a spot. Now it's totally free. The best of all is thanks to NRMA, completely free of charge. Doesn't even need registration, just plug in and press button and it goes. And uh, just to give you guys an idea, here's the, the farm, very well visited. Unfortunately, they cut down the tree. This is my favorite tree in Byron. They cut it down, I'm feeling sad right now. But we'll still do the game here. Once we finish gaming here, we'll go to the next location. We've got three, four different locations we can do games here. And uh, I know. You guys don't know this side of me, right? Now today, for the first time, you're gonna see me as a gamer together with the aspiring trainer gamer, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Kid Genius, Corey Grossman. <laughs> we'll see how it works. <laughs> Maybe we fall flat on our face. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out. Okay, Corey, you just walked past me. Yes. Why did you do that? What? Do I look invisible to you? Am I invisible to you? straight ahead and I just walked. <laughs> okay guys, um, this is what happens um, when you leave the guy alone for five seconds, <laughs> changing his clothing and he comes back completely a different person, right? Do you feel different? Now you look like a Byron local. Yeah. 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 Now you look like a normal local guy. Yes. So this is my regular dresses. Yeah. The, the, if I had to put a label on my wardrobe, it would be Byron Bay. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. That's really true. That's totally true. Yeah, and you guys are gonna see a lot of people dressed this way, right? Yeah. Now, your turn to operate the camera for me. And since we explained already in the previous part of the video what we're actually doing, now you guys are starting to understand what this is about. Now, because we cannot say this out loud anymore, right? Before we came here, we made a plan, we have a strategy, we have our setup, and now you are witnessing live what, um, what the execution looks like. Basically, this is the execution of the plan. And, and by the way, what is your favorite food here? I forgot. What do you normally like to eat? 
The very first time we came here, the very first time we came here together, I remember we got a little stick of sourdough. Yeah. And we were out there and I was picking basil straight from the garden and putting yeah. the basil leaves on the yeah. piece of corn of sourdough and eating that. But I'm quite hungry right now, so I'd happily have a full lunch. Okay, um, how about this? We go get some food, but I want to leave my bag here because it's too troublesome to carry around. It's too heavy. I want to keep a seat as well. We can go take a look around and I will keep them. Uh, let's go one round and see. I think the bag will be safe. Let's go find some food for you. That way. Go ahead, you lead. I don't want to lose that seat actually. You I tell you what. A, I, you don't have a sit down lunch? Oh, it's pretty pricey. Uh, no, we can buy those things and then eat there. Yeah. How about this? Um, I tell you what I want, you choose the rest. I want the... Uh, which salami? Chorizo, mortadella, class, classico salami. Oh, that's so expensive. Yeah, but that's what you do. The... Uh, ah, chili, yeah. I didn't go for that. Sliding. This is locally produced. This one looks slightly less fatty, more meaty. Okay, that's what I want. And I just watch out for my bag. And meanwhile, tell me what you think. Is there more people or less people than I expected? Way more. Way more? Yeah. Well, Why? Probably I expected it to be busy and this is busy. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. It is quite busy. Yeah, this is actually the best tourist location here in Byron. So anyone who comes off the highway, this should always be the first stop. I'm not sure if bakery food is going to be filling enough. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, eat some. I will say this. We do a grazing today. Yeah, right. We do a grazing shot today. So what we do now is basically we graze from one spot to the next. We don't eat everything we want to eat at one spot. Yes. Like I start with this. You can share with me if you want to. But he used to be vegetarian. No more. <laughs> Are you still vegetarian? No, no. Not 100%. Would you eat this? Just locally produced. No, okay. Processed meat is not a thing. I don't mind. From time to time, get a little bit, that's okay. So, uh, what else? What, what, what do you have in mind? Bread? Or uh, what, what is the thing you have in mind? I'm just having a look at the Okay. You got to do it faster, otherwise, people will think you're no longer local. <laughs> but remember, a local has its own uh, established habits and others, you must get those in place. If you don't do that, then people don't know who you are, right? Make sense? So I, I usually grab some, one of those, so I don't think too hard about it. Instead, I just I can take the time to observe the environment, yeah. make myself seen. And the fact that we are filming ourselves in the queue like this is setting the frame. Yeah. This is all part of the setting the frame. And this is how you can do it. But most people are too shy to do that, don't they? Yes. Yeah. I'm not going for the salad. Either. Salad? Salad? Do something more substantial. Come on. No? What about the croissant? Oh, someone's watching us on the camera. You like us? Yeah. yeah. You want to be the cameraman? You can be the cameraman. Come on. As long as you can see us, it's good enough. Thank you. At least I don't have to pay you. Do I have to pay you? Yeah. What? I have to pay you? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me see if I, I need to pay you. Okay, tell me one more time. Do I need to pay you? Yes. Yeah, how much do you want? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Okay, do you take Bitcoin? I have Bitcoin. I can give you Bitcoin for that. Okay. I want a receipt. Okay, okay. We'll see how it goes, okay? Maybe maybe I pay you in the uh, in the near future. But today is your audition as a cameraman. Is that okay? As an audition? You just see if you can help us? That would be cool. Is that your brother? Yes. Oh, cool. Your brother is super cute, right? Put him on camera too. Put the brother on camera too. Is that good? And your mom? That's your mom? Hello. <laughs> Uh, we, we have a YouTube channel for Bitcoin and cryptos and oh. uh, promoting um, tourism in different areas. And okay. So, what the things go sooner or later on YouTube? Yeah. But we will edit it first. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, you'll look great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live here? No, we live in Brisbane. Oh, we are on the north coast. Oh, so, nice. Because today, for the first time, the board is open, so we can come down. Come down, easy. Yeah. Nice. So, I actually predicted to my friend here, he's my 
co-host, let's call it that way, and I predict to him that everybody we're going to meet is not going to be from Byron Bay. People in Byron are in Gold Coast, people in Gold Coast are in Gold Coast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. how I thought it would happen, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right. Okay, you failed the audition, do you know why? I was talking to your mom, and she's not in the frame. I'm sorry, <laughs> your audition has failed. Do better next time? Are you going to do better next time? Yes. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Next time I come to Brisbane and meet you, I'll give you another chance. Is that good? <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay, I hope my bag is still there. Okay, see what you like. Corey is making a difficult decision to decide what he wants to eat. So, so Corey, what do you think? What do you want to eat? What, what is the food you want today? The whole world is watching you right now, deciding what <laughs> food you want to eat. Want. Yeah, that's the problem. I might go for the burger. Okay, what is this? Let me take a look. Actually, the toasty looks nicer. Yeah, that looks great. That looks amazing. And the best part about this place is that everything's very reasonably priced. So, regardless of where you're from, you're from Canada, this is super cheap. You're from Japan, this is even cheaper. So, it's virtually for free, basically. The number one cost is getting here, right? Okay. I will cut here and go for the next section. Look at that. Hey, Corey, what did you get? Uh, roasted vegetable toasty. Nice. Pumpkin, garlic mushrooms, pesto, nice. beans. It smells amazing. Nice. I like to tuck in. Here's my food. Some olive. And locally produced salami. In fact, this is so local, the pork itself is slaughtered just 10 k's away from here. That's reason it's a bit more expensive, but I rather spend money to supporting local economy instead of spending money on food that has to travel thousands of miles. Those are bad. Local food is good. The olive is also local. Everything's local. Okay, tuck in. Bite in, come on. Yay. How does it taste? Cool. Okay, Corey just wanted to ask me a question. What did you want to ask me? How? He asked me this. Okay, let him eat. He asked me. How do I feel first time south of the border? Forever. I normally come here all the time. But this is the first time since like literally I can't even remember that I was able to come here. Huh, what can I say? Sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. I always like this spot, I always like Byron. And one day I'll buy a house here. Who knows? Maybe. Not sure. But I will never buy a hat like that. I don't want to fit in, you know, I don't fit in. If I come to Byron, the last thing I do is wearing a hat like that. Since I'm already not fitting in, I want to stand up properly. And that's the same advice I can give to anybody. If you feel like you're not fitting in to any setting, try to stand out even further. That makes you stand up positively. If you're already not on the fitting, you might as well stand out as much as you can. Right? What, what's the worst can happen? Since you're already fitting, not fitting in, people will assume you are not part of the club. You must have created your own club and invite people in to your club who also doesn't fit in. And there's plenty of guys in the world who does not fit into their own club. So you are welcome to my club. Simple as that. And what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. One last thing, uh, just a tip. Always try to speak in through the phone. Because the microphone is on the left and right. Yeah. And if, if there's a certain direction of speech going on. Yeah, I mean, we... Like dress sense, um, here yeah. this seems to fit in, but this I wear everywhere, and this yeah. my, this is my style. And back in my hometown, town, this does not fit in, no. and I'm used to that. I'm but, used to that for But your hometown is not that far away. Do you have a message for anybody in your hometown who see me now, see you now on YouTube? They think you're nuts. Um, my message to them would just be go live your life, live an extraordinary life, be happy. <laughs> Alright, don't worry about other people's life, don't worry about yourself, that's far more interesting. Okay, in that sense, after this food, the charging will be almost done. Once the charging is done, we'll move on to the next destination. There's a lot of places we can go today, so we don't want to be hang up on the one spot. Alright, you're on. So Corey, give me a give me an idea. What's going on through your head? Oh, I'm quite relaxed. Quite, quite relaxed. Um, yeah. I'm loving that we have some clear weather again. 
Yeah. Um, it was a bit of a change of plans, but it's good to be back down in Byron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? So far, mm -hmm. what about the game? What's your game today? What's your game today? Any game plans? Well, it's been good that we've been noticed. Um, yeah. Our filming set an impression and drew attention. Yep. It's all practice. Mm -hmm. It's all practice. So, for those people who are watching us um, on the program, and the key is uh, practicing all the time. If you don't practice, you lose it. It's a muscle memory. Yeah. And who do you like most? Any specific one you like? Not particularly. Oh. No. Okay, just for reference point. Okay, then turn it around. Why? Okay, guys, for reference point. Uh, Corey has a very high standard of beauty, <laughs> excessively high. So most women don't don't match up to that. That's the problem here. Yeah. So this is this is problematic because when we do Tinder experiments, he just swipe on everybody. Yes, but he has no interest in dating anyone, though. or at least no, not most of them. And those who who are fulfilling his beauty standards don't don't text back as often as they should, right? So. That's a big dilemma. That's the reason when you do day game, it's a different story. Mm. You have a direct interaction. You need to be able to get the feedback straight away. Yeah, day game's a lot more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me turn around. Tell me more. Well, oh, I suppose that's kind of the lesson when I was in Perth and I did the experiment yeah. at Crown. Yeah. Um, I'd been playing with um, Tinder for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And I mean, it is fun in some ways, um, like when we're together and we're texting and crafting and kind of the art of, you know, yeah. the, the way you use your words and stuff yeah. like that. Um, that can be fun, but it also can get very tedious and very boring and it's just images and words on a screen. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. On a screen. It doesn't yeah. really mean anything, but in real life, um, it's a lot more fun. You have the real people, you can pick up their real kind of vibes. Yeah. Um, you know, the real facial expressions in real time and um, stuff's actually happening. And yeah. You get emotions through them. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Mm. So in Perth, um, the the crown experiment mm. was mm. that. Would you see it as a failure or a success? You had thirty something matches, mm. and half of people you told them they should come to crown to have mm. a party. Mm. How many actually came? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Not a single person came. <laughs> so for those who wonder if you missed out the party, now there was no party. Yeah, it was just a I social experiment. He was the party. <laughs> And, and and the funny thing is, uh, not a single girl came. Even mm. though some, a lot of them showed a lot of interest, right? Mm. Mm. And this is the problem with the modern dating. When you do uh, on the app-based system, mm. most people only dare to say whatever they want on the screen. Yeah, they don't dare to say things in front of their face, mm. and that makes things very hard. Yes. And and I I actually pity the girls who do those mm. because you you build up attention for yourself, and ultimately you don't get anything. Mm. There's no true validation because if you, as long as you don't get the true validation face to face from, from a man, anything you do on the internet is meaningless. Mm. Yeah, you can post all the ass pictures you want, but in reality, most people just uh, use it as a, a joke of material, mm. basically. So you're basically providing free free service. Mm -hmm. the, the so-called validation is not real. Now, for yourself, um, going forward, do you would you still stay on Tinder or would you go only do real life? Or you want to do both? I don't know. Just, I've never asked you this before. Mm. What do you think? No, I think they both still have a use. Okay. Um, like the other day when we were um, uh, sculpting with words, and yeah. the kind of oh, there was fun, you know, when you were showing me how how you'd use words and the way you'd observe and reflect, and it was yeah. truly like a master. That very special moment when we high fived like that, <laughs> and she when she wrote back. Um, uh, oh, something, something, something. No, you I basically call a girl prostitute, <laughs> and she she yeah. came back strong. Blah 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 blah, and, and she, she she replied, "You are handsome and mysterious too." <laughs> how, how to do that? The exact steps will stay a mystery for now. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that was fun. Like yeah. there are certain elements which are fun, um, mm -hmm. and I suppose it can could have a use when you're bored or tired or can't go out or whatever. Yeah. Um, but now it's a different story. Now, now you can go out. If, yeah. if you can go out and you can have a life and you can have yeah. real experiences, then that's a waste of time. And right. online is horribly inefficient. Like yes. The amount of hours you put in, yes. what you get out of it, it it's, it's nothing. Yes. Nothing. Whereas real life, even if you meet someone and you never actually go get to go on a date or whatever, yeah. you've still improved your social skills and still had a good time in real yes. life. Yes. So 
I mean, online, I suppose, personally, could still have its uses, but I would definitely put my resources and time and energy into learning and practicing and just having fun in real life. Right, mm. okay. Now you be my cameraman. Mm -hmm. Watch out that I'm in the frame. Yeah, it's good. Okay, I'm in frame. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, the Tinder experiment go went like this. We use his picture, it was his account, but I'm the one who texts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so all the 18 year old girls who were texting, you were texting me. <laughs> I was like, and and the first few interaction was between me and you, mm. and the rest was taken over by him because when I get bored, I don't care. Yeah. So the the truth is, um, I was showing him, while well, showing him um, that um, if you want to stay interesting, you have to write things that are outrageous, yes. interesting, short. Don't 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 hang on too much. High emotional impact. High emotional impact, and and. Virtually all texts I ever written, I always get a reply. Yes. Nobody ever ghosted me on the text system, right? Mm -hmm. And here comes the surprise part for people who know me. My friends know me as an excessive texter. Mm -hmm. I text walls. I text long walls mm -hmm. to my friends, only to my friends. The only people who, who are not my friends, you will never receive text words from me. So, it, it's not that I don't know how to game text. I'm very good at gaming text. Yeah. Ten years Singapore taught me everything I need to know about texting. I was texting thousands of people at the same time, literally speaking, and nobody felt uh, neglected. The key is um, that I want to show Corey that it, regardless how much effort you put into a text game, ultimately it's just a game. There's no energy behind it, there's nothing behind it, therefore everything is just not real. Yes. You're missing 99.9% .9 of the communication. Yes. The text only carry like 0.001% of the energy. Ultimately, it's the energy that matters. It's the vibe that you get between you and the girl that matters. So ultimately, you still have to overcome the burden and the, um, how do you call it? The um, anxiety you have in the society to yes. overcome those anxieties and face a person face to face. Mm -hmm. And when you get into that situation, most girls are you you equipped with it, and men as well. So in in our in our program, what we're trying to do is to teach everybody, at least from a man's perspective, how to how to be socially um, fluid. Mm. Let's call it that way. Yeah, that you can use the same skill for business negotiation. You can use the same skill for making friends, meeting girls, um, climb your social ladder. Yes, let's call it that way. Because ultimately, when you enter a social group as a man, you automatically judge each other's social skills like a wrestling match. Yes. And then you wrestle each other until the undisputed leader gets established. And usually it's not the guy with the most muscle wins this game. In fact, that's usually the last guy. Yeah. The guy who usually wins the game in the social hierarchy game is the guy who has the highest intelligence, mm -hmm. most experience, the most emotional intelligence as well. And this is the goal for Corey to achieve. He's only 18. By the time he's 25, I want him I want him to be able to win every single emotional wrestling match mm -hmm. there is. But he's still young, so I'm training him in the process. So don't get deterred if you see some failures, that's normal. Mm -hmm. However, this is all part of the game and this is very, very important that you train yourself because those skills, the social skill is something that's scalable. You start small with one person, two person, then a small group, mm -hmm. then you go over to an environment, a setting like this. And then over, you become a public speaker, yourself for public speaking. Then you do it on internet, on YouTube, uh, then internationally, you can, you can even do it as a job, as an act, or whatever things. The key is those sk um, skills is actually a completely 100% scalable skill, right? Everything you're learning right now, this communication skill, is something you can translate over to a much bigger audience. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk to one girl, you can talk to 10, 100, a million. Some people do coaching for online coaching 100,000 clients, mm. teaching girls how to behave properly to get a guy. Like, who says that Corey couldn't do that? Who knows? So there's many directions we can go with this kind of skill. This is the reason, this is one fundamental skills we have to teach every young man in the world between 18 to 25, mm. that you have to learn those skills so that you are able to be the best version of yourself. Because ultimately it's all about be the best version of yourself. Never compare yourself to anybody else. Always be the best version of yourself. Mm. Once you have done that, then the right person will come into your life and they will choose you based on the best version of yourself. And if they've chosen you based on your best version, then you know that's the right choice. Then you have the right friendship, partnership, uh, relationship, any of that things going on. Mm. So it's not about a flirt. It's not about just picking up girls. It's really about becoming the best version of who you truly can be. All right, get back to Corey. What yeah, do you think, again, Corey? Similarly, I've learned um, about regarding social skill yeah previously i had thought oh it's just you know you just have a conversation with someone you just meet yep. someone like 
I never knew there were any other layers to it. Oh, people just talk to each other. They just meet people. They're just whatever, friends, whatever, new yeah. people. Um, yeah. But actually, it's so, so, so powerful. Like, really, yeah. um, the way I've seen Gabriel talk about, I, I, I described it as like a metaphorical social arm wrestling. Yeah, that's um, the first time you used that term. Yeah. Nobody ever used that term on me mm. ever before. Mm. That's it's, true. It's incredible the way he can so powerfully just just naturally use social skills and maneuver things not in a manipulative way just in a normal way to Correct. create a good experience for everyone and to achieve goals yeah. um, and the way that social presence and the way you relate to other people can be so powerfully used to achieve things which you know it's yeah. more than just oh I just met someone today I just had a conversation you really have this you know benefit which everyone gets out of it and improves everyone's lives in such right. a way which you know is such a contrast to just having a conversation versus really consciously socializing with intention right that's true let me give you a let me give everybody a practical example by now my last video has premiered uh, today at 11 o'clock uh, premiered on the channel so on that video you saw me basically socially interacting with a group of people I've never met in my life the Buna flying club hi Buna uh, maybe in the next three months the whole town will know me because it's a super small town so once the <laughs> once they lead people in the glider club the flying club knows people like me then they will tell everyone else about me that's how you spread your reputation you see you go into a new environment you start with the most important people then very soon your reputation just spread out now if you observe that video carefully it's also a demonstration of social ability so what happens here is that i went in look for the for the leaders in the group and i genuinely want to make friends with the leaders in the group I'm, there's nothing manipulated behind it every single say, thing i said i did in the whole process was genuine mm. it's 100 percent my interest mm. because i'm truly interested in the people so on the very first day i got invited to now a friend of mine called mike uh mike seven so shout out mike so he showed me his life within literally 30 minutes meeting me and i bet he does not do that with other people you know why he's an introvert he can't wait to get out of the way of other people yet he felt connected to me do you know how i did it mike do you know my trick you taught me everything you wanted to teach me about clouds i asked you for 20 minutes question about clouds was I interested in the clouds? Yes, I was interested in the clouds. But in the process of asking about the cloud formation, you created an intimate relationship between me and you. Because he's a pilot, mm. the clouds are important to him. So he explained to me, he, I gave him the frame to demonstrate his skill. Mm. So it, this is not manipulation, this is simply a courtesy. Yes. Basically, I create a stage for Mike, to one-on-one on one stage, not between anyone else, just me and Mike. And he's 66 years old. Mm. He has traveled around the world. He has seen all kinds of people. So I cannot pull woods over his eyes, okay? This guy's experienced as fuck. So I cannot be this genius and try to fish him for information unless I'm truly real for doing what I do. That's for real. So Mike was able to show me his life within 30 minutes of me meeting him. I gained his trust. I have access to, gained access, his social access to his friends. I met his wife. I met his dog, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> the dog rode with me on the car, which is another interaction, which I demonstrate that, hey, your dog comes into my frame. I don't mind the dog leave hair behind. I don't even mind if the dog vomit on my carpet or not. I don't care because this is my way to show I'm trusting you, Mike. In return, he automatically trusts me more in the process. All that is all a natural way of a human interaction since thousands of years. What I'm trying to demonstrate to everybody is that once you achieve a certain level of emotional intelligence, everything comes naturally. Then nothing's a game. Everything's natural. And the very reason why I can go from nobody on YouTube to number one Bitcoin Cash Worldwide is the same skill I use. I'm literally mesmerizing you in front of your camera, get you to watch me for hours on the end. Some of you are so addicted to my video that the first thing you do is watching, the last thing you do is watching, right? And I'm using exactly the same skill on you guys, okay? I'm mesmerizing you. It's the same thing. You just don't realize. Okay, now you think, oh, the whole thing is a scam, is a trick? No, it's not. This whole thing is called, um, how would you describe the skill best? Come on, Corey, give me some idea. What's the, how would you describe the skill? What's the best description of this skill set? It's just social competency. like the Social way, competency, Yeah, it's that's just correct. Like, like a blacksmith is good at crafting with metal. Correct. It's just he's good at crafting with social skills. Correct. It's not any kind of nefarious end or anything. He's just good at socializing. Correct. It's just a skill. Correct. Mm. 
And I want to give you, here's a, a jab and an extra message for your mom. <laughs> I want to give a message to your mom, and this is not meant as a, as, a, as a payback. Instead, I want to clarify something because you're going to watch your sound on, on my channel all the time. Your mom refused to watch my channel because she doesn't want to see my face, because she hates me. Okay? I took the sound away from her and she, she feels like this is um, a monumental failure on her side. No, it's not. Your son has to grow. He's a man, just like me. We all have to grow. At 18, this is our job to grow. That's a simple fact. Simple fact. So now he's leaving the house. Very soon he's moving to Gold Coast. He's going to have his own career on the internet. And he will meet thousands of new people. So you will lose your son as an aversion as you know him forever. It's a simple fact. You will never get the old son back. It's not possible, right? Any last message to your mom before we're finishing? It's just growth. It's just independence. <laughs> it's just not growing up. So, uh, so that means uh, you don't feel the regret because you'll never be able to go back to the homeboy ever again. You know that. Yeah. There's no going back. It's like a butterfly. Once you become a butterfly, you can no longer go back to the caterpillar. You can't. Yeah. And that's a simple fact. Yeah. No, I'm happy. I have to create, a, you know, I want an extraordinary life for myself and to make the world a better place and to Correct. do cool stuff. Correct. Um, I have to go out and meet people and learn new skills and yeah. all this kind of stuff. I just want to learn and grow. That's true. Okay, now back to me. Am I in frame? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, everything we do here is all um, for your benefit, for the viewer's benefit. Those long videos is changing the way how I communicate with you guys because this is more real than ever before. So far, you have seen maybe 0.1% of my life, I would reckon. Mm -hmm. Corey, well, would you think yeah, that's I'm no more sure. than 0.1% of no. my life, right? No. So all my 350 videos in seven months demonstrated only a small, tiny fraction of my life. Now, with the new series, the Surfing Angel series, you will discover many different facets of a person like me and many other people like Corey, like Mike, like Georgia, all those people will come into your life as a brand new characters. So whatever you know, you think you know about me, you don't. You absolutely don't. I have shown you a tiny, small fraction of myself. Let's be like this. Imagine here's a bottle. Why show you as one letter? <laughs> this is what I showed you for me. This is one letter. I show you one letter. I see. So from your perspective, I'm C, but I'm not. No, no, I'm this. I'm this whole thing. And then the best part is this year, 2022, I'm not going to do it now because people hate me for this. I was smashing this bottle. I'm literally smashing this, put, made it, turn this into pieces and reassemble myself in a possible, completely new way. So just imagine I'm a bottle. You saw a letter. I'm actually a whole thing. And I'm smashing this bottle in front of you and reassemble the bottle anew or recycle the bottle into something completely new. Maybe after a while, I come out like this. So think about it. I'm, I'm going from this to this, or I might become like this. So if you get confused, because when you started the whole video with me a few years ago, only see a red sea, white on red sea, and then suddenly you see this is the whole bottle, then you see me smashing this whole thing, and suddenly become this, or become this, don't be surprised, I'm just glass. That's all. <laughs> it's the same thing, yeah, that's me. Every, every part of that is all me, okay? This is just a public service announcement so that people don't get confused. Okay, everybody, we are now back to our usual spot. Uh, because I assume all the locals are gone from Byron Bay, so everything is pretty empty today. But Corey chose the right spot. Nice frame setup. Thank you. Have you ordered? Yeah. Okay, cool. Where should I sit? I'll let you choose where I should be sitting. You chose your spot. What, what, what spot should I sit? There? Yeah. Okay. Now explain to me why. Why should I sit here? Why am I staring at? Why do you set me here? This is the first time I let Cory choose the frame. First time you're choosing the frame. You chose this frame, you chose me for this frame, why? Well, we're close enough, it has to be next to each other. Now you're outside of the you picture. Can. You can, we can both easily interact with anyone around us. Ah, okay. 
So anyone in the crowd, you could talk to there or here. I could talk to there or here. Uh, and both the conversation is safe. Okay. And most important, I'm the one watching who's coming here and going away. <laughs> Free selection for him. <laughs> Good. Nice. Body language, on point. Yeah, looks relaxed. Very cool. Let me see. Yeah. Pretty much so. Taking up as much space as possible. Basically, from here onwards is the world famous Baron Bay. And you guys are gonna get a tour in the city. Meanwhile, we'll still talk a little bit more about today's experience. All right. So, so far, Corey, did we get into any interaction with anybody yet? Not really. Not really. But you forgot about the kids. Oh, yeah, I suppose that kind of counts. Yeah, that kind of counts too. Remember, it's all about making another person's life a little bit better, mm. a bit happier. Yeah. And um, game works even on children. Mm. And actually, it's the hardest one to game our kids mm -hmm. because they're incredibly honest. Mm. I asked the kid, Do you want to get paid? He said, Yes. <laughs> yes. I said, How much? 100 bucks. 100 bucks <laughs> for holding a camera. <laughs> hey, my guys. Inflation. <laughs> inflation. That's in inflation expectation, right? The kid has an inflation expectation. He, that kid thinks holding up a camera like that is worth 100 bucks to him or to me. Or he's a great bargainer. Yeah. Maybe he's just great at the psychology and he recognized that I might be under the pressure to give him any price he wants. Uh, so kudos to you, kid. Yeah. So also in the last, uh, last segment in the video, I purposely framed the camera in a way that I showcase that there's always people within eardrop distance of you. That's how you set up the frame yeah. and invite the frame. But like a fisherman, just because you put up bait doesn't mean a fish will bite. Yes. But it's the process of, most fishermen will tell you 90% of the process of fishing is doing nothing. It's preparation. 10% yes. is fishing. And the catching the fish is a nice experience, but it's not what it's really about. If it's only the getting the fish, the meat is what you want, you don't need to go fishing. You just go to the supermarket. Yeah. So, translation, uh, gaming is about the experience, it's about the preparation, it's about the excitement, it's about a new frame, new setting, encounter new people and have the unknown experience ahead of you. And you never know what we expect. I never expected to game two kids and the mom, but it did, it did work. And the best part is we left a positive impression behind the shop. Yeah. And a lot of the shop operators, the, the employees, were looking at you, actually. They were looking over to Corey, because he's obviously the attractive one. I'm, I'm obviously the old guy. So therefore, the, po the whole idea is about, he is the bait, I'm the brain, and together, we should have the number one um, ability to game everything we want. Yeah, so it's the tag team thing. You don't want a team where two people have identical skills yeah. or setups. You want a diversity in skill so you can complement each other. We have officially entered Baron Bay, the main area. Let's take a look. Yep. You go anywhere you like. I'm not gonna give you instruction. You have been here often enough. You know the place now. So this is the reason I asked Corey to become a driver local to Byron because once he drives here often enough, he knows where to go. Muscle memory kicks in. He doesn't worry about to learn. Yep, watch out. I did let her go, let her go, let her go. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. So I'm not gonna comment on any girls here because then people will think I'm some 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 uh, pervert or something like that. In reality, what I'm doing is give you a stock count. Okay, we put a camera around here, let people see what's available, local. Oh, oh where, right? Where? Oh, there. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Markets. I love markets. Markets are some of the best places to. Oh, is that a parking? No way. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. It's two Thanks. motorbikes. So here's a market, seaside market. You just continue. I find. I bring you to where we can park. You know what? Go turn, turn right. I'll show you where you can park. Public holiday, you have to pay here, so don't park here. Just turn right, I'll show you where you can park. This is the market, perfect. I'll show you where you can park, very, very near. You can park. Go straight. There's a secret parking lot for anybody who has an electric car. Keep going, keep going. And then under here, turn left at the library, turn left. 
We're gonna park at the library. Yeah, turn left and then turn right into the library parking. Slowly, okay, slowly. This is a very heavy curb. Okay. And I can park on the left. I don't need to charge the car, so I just park here on the left. Hello, everybody. We have convinced the seller of the Korean hot dog company to come to Gold Coast to stand, set a stand and also sell half price hot dog to my friend here. Yeah. This is the last hot dog they have, so you might as well give him half price. Yeah? So this is a big challenge for you. Yeah. Have you ever eaten Korean food ever in your life? Oh, really? No. Have you ever eaten hot dogs like this ever in your life? So this is his virgin experience. <laughs> what is the batter? What kind of batter is that? Is that sugar? This one is sugar. Ah, that's sugar. Yeah. Ah, sugar. Right. And then with ketchup and mustard. Oh yeah. Nice. Go for it. Go for it. Knock him off his socks. By the way, it looks amazing. Looks Thank absolutely you. amazing. Wow. What is that? Mustard? Mustard. Yeah. Nice. American mustard. Nice. It looks amazing. You pay cash or card? Uh, cash. Okay. Yeah. Give him, give him a chance to calculate everything. Thank you very much. So normally it's $12? Yeah. Yeah, because today is very, very special for him. $6, the last dog for him is $6. Also, we make a promotion for you guys. Definitely worth more than $6. Trust me on that. Yeah. I have a crypto channel. I do a lot of crypto related Bitcoin it. things and stuff like that. I look what else comes in. Ah, nice. Yeah, have a go and hope you enjoy it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Cheers. Bye bye. I don't want today. Bye bye. Okay, we just hustle you half price hot dog. <laughs> it's not about money. What do we do? We had a connection? Yes. I cre cre created a connection and got your hot dog for, for half price. If yeah. I really wanted, I could have gotten for free as well. They would have given me for free too. I don't want to do that. Instead, um, it was a good, great connection. Before the video started rolling, how long did I spend time talking to them? How long did I take? Maybe two or three minutes. Two or three minutes? Just talking. Right. You and him. Right, right. Do you want to go down the beach to eat or where do you want to go eat? Uh, let's just sit in the shade somewhere. Sit in the Anywhere shade. around here. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let me think about what's the best shade. I suggest near, near the, near this space. Yeah, that, over there. Under the sand, sandy shade. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. So you get some view of the ocean as well. Yeah. Sandy shade with ocean view. That's good. Oh, just over there on the, on the roadside. That's just perfect. So we get a shot of the ocean as well. Maybe just right next to the ocean. Under the tree there. That'd be perfect. Okay, guys, give you a killer shot. Absolutely killer shot. Okay where we eat Korean hot dogs. Oh, Byron Bay style. Let's do it. Byron Bay style, Korean hot dog. Oh, don't fight with me for space, man. Uh, okay, you choose, let you choose. Perfect. Perfect, until the tree topples over and takes it down with you. Oh, well, if that's how it must die, it's not a bad way to die. No, it's not at all, <laughs> yeah. Okay, give you guys a surround view, Byron Bay. Korean hot dog, virgin, you are a Korean hot dog virgin, is that correct? Never had a Korean hot dog before. Okay, Corey, explain what's going on in the background. You know what? You can operate the camera and do the zoom in. The gamer. Asian gamer. This is the gamer in action? Yeah, that's the gamer in action. Pure gamer. This is a human mating ritual. Where? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, explain. You know what? Should I explain it? Maybe I'm better at explaining. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll explain to you guys the gaming process. All right. First of all, he 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 has one weakness. He's standing on one leg that makes him unstable. That gives him the feel, uh, the people the feeling that he's uh, unstable. He just changed position from Changing standing on one like side to the other side. Uh, okay. Based on the body language of the girls, what do you think? How receptive are they? I think he is trying to game the Asian chick on the right. Or oh, they might even know each other. I don't know if they know each other. They might. 
It's hard to tell because he wasn't with them before. No, they were not. They, but this girl was just uh, passing by himself. The one on the right is Asian, right? The one on the right is Asian. The one. I'm not 100 percent sure. She could just have brown hair. Yeah, I couldn't see the face. Neither. Yeah. yeah. Age-wise, what do you reckon? Age? Mid twenties. Mid twenties. Yeah. What about the guy? Thirty. Um, no, he looks mid twenties as well. No, he's thirty. Really? Oh, okay. I'll give him thirty. No, definitely. So this is gaming at gamers at work, but I think they might know each other. Yeah. Uh, one mistake he makes is he looks fairly comfortable. Yeah, I think they might know each other. Like he doesn't look like he went out for the approach. No, he looks like he's just chatting to friends. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, but very soon. Uh, okay, based on the body language, he's not a true gamer. No. So also based on the body language of girls, I would reckon. The standoffish. Yes. I don't know why. Yeah. But his initial process was not good. Mm. The, uh, he has the basics with the leg outwards towards the axis, showing people that he's at any time ready to bowl. Yeah. The reality is the best way is be focused. Yeah. yeah. Be focused is the best. Always focus on one girl first and make the other girl like you. And that's mm. that's the fidgeting with his left leg. Yes. Makes him look uncomfortable. Mm. Because also he's not standing straight, he's standing slouched. Yeah. That makes him look shorter than he is. In fact, he is. Is he shorter than the blonde girl? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Okay. Now the the one the right slightly softer. I I bet they know each other. I, yeah. I think they know each other. Let me see if you can find who the other side is. Uh, yeah, no, I guess I see. Okay. Now he's starting. He's talking now he's starting. Let's yeah. start to create an attraction part mm. coming up. Okay. He's walking his way. Yeah. Uh, good gamer, good gamer. Uh, if he can tra slowly transition from unsure to more sure to even more sure, then he's making progress. It's all about progress, slow progress. But now the girls go, always go back to the hip pose, it's not good. Mm. But to get, get the hands off the hip. Get the hands off the hips, yeah. And. The one on the right moved in slightly. Yeah. She was standing further off before. No, he moved in slightly. Uh, she didn't move. Yeah, true. He moved. Yeah. She didn't change her location. She is slowly moving in mm. from the side. I think what really is happening is, potentially, is... Um, okay, my reading right now is that he he probably preferred the game, the blonde one. Yes. But he starts with the Asian chick mm. first okay. to establish rapper. Uh, I do that sometimes as well. If I'm interested in a girl, I usually, yeah. game, the, I usually game the girlfriend first yeah. before I game the actual girl. Mm. I do that as well. So, yeah. But I find it amazing that we have such an amazing position. Let me just give people a background how far we are. Here we are. At, at a good location, we can always get this kind of position, right? We're in the shade. Yeah, we're in the shade. It's comfortable. We're sitting on top. The camera in my hand is like for ourselves. We they don't feel aspect. Yeah. They don't feel like being observed. Uh, yeah. This is like a nature, fo nature movie yeah. footage, right? <laughs> okay. Let me show you the girls I, I saw. They're pretty cool. This three are pretty cool. Yeah. When I'm walking by there and making videos, that's three are pretty cool. Yeah. They are pretty decent shape. Yeah. Uh, let's say if you do a monthly scouting game, that would be the good, good target. Yeah. But giving away a lot of free advice here. So gaming you need to have a frame. Anytime you approach a girl, you need to have a frame. Mm -hmm. Without a frame, you, they don't know what you want. Now the best part is because we're positioned here, sooner or later the three girls are gonna pass by mm -hmm. and we can Take full advantage of that without being creeped. Yeah, right. That's the whole thing. Positioning is everything. Positioning is literally everything. So we're not moving anywhere. Yet anything that you want to see is coming towards you. It's like everything else in life. Okay. They didn't take this exit. They're going for a different exit. There it is. So this one didn't work out. But slowly the gamer here is moving into the game. Yeah. He doesn't. He didn't pick up the steam. He the one on the right got bored. Right away, but his approach slowly, further and further, closer to the blonde one, make him look too obvious. He's giving the blonde one, yeah. His so his demonstration social proof to yeah the Asian chick, right? This Asian chick, she's actually quite okay. She's not that bad. The one on the right, Asian chick, yes or no? I still cannot tell. Is a Caucasian with a lot of operation or the Asian chick? Pretty well toned. Yeah. Yeah. But he has the right body for a gamer. Yeah. At least he put a body. So too, yeah. He has the tattoo. Mm -hmm. He's a bit like the um, remember Morpheus? 
he even has yeah. the same tattoo yeah. at the same spot. This the skinny version of Morpheus, the Asian skinny version of Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> Morpheus is a world class gamer, so he might even be the exactly same tattoo. <laughs> but is he really Asian? I'm not even 100% sure. Yeah, he might he be half Asian. half Asian. Yeah, half. He may be half, but so. more like 100% or not. He's pretty attractive, though. Yeah, okay. Sunglasses off. I definitely put him in his 30s. Definitely 30s, 100%. But he needs to progress a bit faster. This is a bit slow. A bit slow. And How would you progress? Uh, from once you first get of all, you? if you really want the game, the long one, you gotta engage her in the conversation now because she's really bored. You can literally tell she's just bored. She's just laughing out of yeah. courtesy nowadays. Uh, now they're showing off the tattoos. Okay, but that's another standard thing. Uh, the one on the right, the blonde one has a tattoo uh, mark of a butterfly. Now, oh, he established the first part of physical contact. Yeah, that's the escalation. Physical contact. You see that? That's a literally textbook. Literally textbook. That, he closing in her zone, slowly closing in her zone. Then first touch. First touch is to establish the um, um, response to see if she responds to him positively or not. So far not, because her first reaction was negative. Yeah. But he will try again. I guarantee you he will try again. But if I'm him, I will stop focusing so much on the plan move target yes because now it's too obvious yes now it become too obvious because it, it, it will become uncomfortable for the for the, for the blonde one too com uncomfortable move move the target and stop fidgeting with the leg yes so he's posing he's trying to uh, nah. um, okay how do i say oh no she looked she, what did he she went a little closer to him okay and once we kicked towards him okay that's a good sign that's a good because I cannot hear what he says. The only problem is I cannot hear. I can only see the I can only see the interaction. So the question now is do they know each other? He's not here alone. He's never gamers like that is never alone. Gamers are never alone. Oh, yeah. there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, so he's working. He's now, pretty good. He's good. He's not he's perfect, good. but he's well No no no, no. he's good, he's good. Yeah. Maybe the, the leg thing is just a, a tactic because sometimes you play the leg thing to show you're slightly shy, insecure to give the illusion of insecurity. Yeah. Oh, she brought the bottle up. Is that a signal say rub my back? He will offer rubbing yeah. her back if, like, if that comes next. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, talking to two girls at once is not easy. No, it's not it's easy. It's difficult to it's keep up easy. the conversation. Not easy at all. But I'm glad somebody's demonstrating the, demonstrating the skill. He got a skill set. Uh, only downside with him is he's not tall enough. Yeah. If he's tall enough, uh, he will be a chad. But he's he's close enough. He's like a seven out of ten chad. Yeah. I mean, they were just something like, yeah. to approach out of the blue. That's yeah. not easy. And to get yeah. a conversation going with two in the camera without being, no. you know, he hasn't been blown off. No. So he's succeeding. Yes. That's not right. easy. No, no it's not. No, it's not. That's true. That's quite true. What do you learn from him right now? He's demonstrating all the basics of a game, a day game yeah. out on the beach. Yeah. Look how difficult this is. Put into perspective. Yeah. This is very open and empty. The more open and empty it is, actually, the harder it is. The more more uh, more open, uh, more enclosed it is, the actually the easier it is because you can move from target to target. Yeah. The thing this I didn't one, see was how he introduced. I didn't pay attention. No, to neither was I. One minute yeah. they were sunbaking, lying down, and the next they were talking to. Him. Right. Right. But now he moved target already. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the, the girl on the right, uh, the girl on the left, the blonde one basically starting to show the sign that uh, uh, interest. Yeah, I want interest yeah. because she's now starting to show, I want to show show a little bit more of my body, my yeah. shape, and that. but she's probably slightly, feels slightly more insecure it's about herself yes. compared to the Asian shape because she's uh, by body shape, of course, because yeah. you can't change that. Also, she has a lot of uh, cellulites. She will be uh, very uh, insecure about her cellulites and her body. And also, the reason she wears a hat, such a big hat, is not just for sound, sound protection, it's also for uh, covering her face. Sometimes she's not that secure about her face. And, but I have to say, kudos to the gamer. Yeah. But he has all the signs of a gamer and people yeah. don't pick it up, it's amazing. That yeah. tattoo on the chest side is like the textbook gamer tattoo, okay? Textbook. Totally textbook. Why? Because you draw attention to your chest muscle. Uh -huh. And you, you give people the impression what kind of uh, what kind of person you are in a very straightforward way. And all that is uh, scientifically proven. This is not a random choice. Yeah, look now. I still figure out is one the right Asian or not. I couldn't. I couldn't tell. The features are a bit too sharp for Asian. Yeah. What do you reckon? 
I don't think so. It's a boss on the engine? Yeah. Then what about the camera? He's half Asian. He's not full Asian. He's not full. But he's definitely partly Asian in some way. I think he is full Asian, but it's exotic Asian. Something like uh, Cambodian. Yeah. Ah, keep going. Yeah, heads yeah. are. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. Pay attention to those things. Yeah. Damn. I couldn't no, get a better gamer game. demonstrating this than the guy like this. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. He is pro, man. He's pro. He's pro. The other thing was just before the yeah. blonde one was nervous or your hands the in the camera or something. Take away your hand. And um, so he drew the attention to the one on the right. Oh, he was pulling them. He's pulling them. What are they pulling them to? Which? Maybe where he was sitting, yeah. Oh, yeah. Potentially. Yeah, he's pointing. Yeah. He's pulling. Over there is my tent. Over there are my homeboys. Come yeah. over to my homeboys. Yeah. Wow. Textbook. Textbook. A success, man. Job well done. Textbooks. Textbook. My gosh. Oh, he even knacked her a little bit. Yeah. Do you saw that? I didn't see that. He kicked backwards uh, towards the blonde one. Uh -huh. Make it a bit more playful. But it's obvious his target is the blonde one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not surprising. Look, they're walking very close together. Yes. Like the distance between them. Yes. Wow, textbook pool, man. Textbook, textbook pool. So, which place is it? The tent or the umbrella? I want to know where he's. See that? Another pool? That's another uh, neck and pool. And uh, the joke? How you call it in, in game? Um, basically, child, childish play. Yeah, see? She responded. She responded. That's good. Tension That's good. release. Tension release. Now, this is the child's play. So, that he, he involved into child's play. That's the seven year old child's play thing that he used. Fantastic. Oh man. This is textbook. Okay, I really want if he really put them from that far, then I have to say this is the type master gamer. Master gamer. Okay, now the question is, did he prepare this? From this distance I guarantee you it's all prepared. They met each other before, either somewhere else, or he has targeted them since in the morning or in the afternoon or something like that. He must have scouted the whole beach, look for the right target figured it out pulling two girls at the same time like that masterfully done master I really want to know whether they're pulling them to my guess is pulling them to a group of guys yeah. or a guys and girls I really want to know he's not alone he's not alone I guarantee you he's not alone there's no way he pulling this alone by himself if it is my absolute hat off my absolute hat off this is like a sports game commentation yeah exactly yes, I'm commentating a sports game okay this is Textbook. Oh man, this is good. He is world class. So he's standing alone on one leg was completely game. Yeah. It's all part of the game. The insecurity part is part of the game. It's not random. So he put he, he put them really textbook style. This is absolute textbook style. Guys, learning, learning, learning. Man, head off to this guy. To get to that level, you need a lot of confidence, but you also need to put a lot of preparation to your body. Yeah. If you don't look the right amount, you can't make it. Look how far he's pulling them. Look how far he's pulling them. The guy can pull. This is half a beach already. Yeah. I'm still following him up. I really want to know why he's pulling them that far. Semi strangers. No, he's pulling them to something. I don't know what it is. He could have just also been together. No. Together like that, very unlikely. There must be a destination. There must be a promise. He promised them something. Whatever the promise is, maybe go there and check out something. Maybe go somewhere, check out something else, or just take a walk. But two together at the same time, this is damn world class. Corey, this is world class. Okay, you know what? Let me zoom back and come back to ourselves. This is how far he has walked already. That's how far he has walked already. Okay, 15 minutes in. All right. Uh, had, I give him an applause. World class, world class. Man, whoever you are, if you're watching this video, that was textbook. That was textbook. Uh, I don't think I can have that because I don't have that body also I've done it well. but you could have done it if you do it right so that's your time that's your, that is ideally what you should be able to do one day maybe in two years time three years time what do you need to get to that level you don't need to be Asian by the way <laughs> absolutely not actually your look is advantage practice you saw how he did it from the beginning to the end starting with arms insecure uh, arm leg uh, behavior and all this started he targeted the textbook the girl he does not want to gain her approval because then you target the other girl with the body language so the other girl gets a hint knowing that you like me because you touched me you didn't touch the other girl 
So the blonde one knows fully well that he likes the blonde one, but he got a full approval through the through, through the language part to get approval from the girlfriend yes. of the girl. Because if you gave in two girls once, the difficult part is you must get approval and also likability from the two women at once. If you piece of friend, it doesn't matter how much progress you make. You will, you you will, will, will lose it. You will lose it. Yes. 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 You will lose it. You will lose it. Absolutely. Now, here comes something interesting. So he didn't go for clothes to me? No, of course, clothes. of course, absolutely, you don't, you never do that. But still, he is pulling them so far, now I can barely see him. He's still walking, He's still walking. they're still walking down the, the beach. I think the camera cannot even capture them anymore. This was textbook. So, the only question is, tonight, does he get his dick stuck at both or what? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> or in, in the next two hours, I don't know. Even the next two hours or tonight, even one. Uh, okay, the blonde one definitely will suck his dick. Um, the Asian one may join in if they are very nice and friendly and if you do this kind of things. But let's just say he's a conservative player, he will only go for the blonde one. He might do the same thing to the blonde one one night and the, 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 the Asian chick the next night and then vice versa. Entirely possible. But I have to say, world class game, world class game, hats off to him, man. Whoever you are, hats off. That's world class game. Yeah. Uh, not, not easy. Not easy. Master, master leader. Master leader. Master leader. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Absolutely not. Heads out to that guy. Professional player. You won. Won three to three to zero oh to you. Two to one. Two to zero. Yeah. He won both. You won both. He, in theory, now has two options. He can go back and forth, do both, or whatever. That's world class. That's a world class. Okay, what do we prove here? Number one, you don't need to be tall. You do need to be good looking. You need to look after your own body. He wasn't super ripped. Like, was no, he's not fully ripped. He was he, actually, that look is the best look. Yeah. That's the look, best look. And his height, he's just marginally taller than both girls. Yes. He's literally just marginally taller. So you don't need to be six foot to pull girls. Key here is confidence, yes. wit, understanding of human nature, ability to know what to do and not to do under what circumstance. This was the best possible pool I have seen so far. Now I see, yes. you see, you yes. see he is playing with the, but he's playing more with the, the blonde one now. He's closer to the blonde yes. one, he's playing more with the blonde one. Yeah. But it's the full approval of the other chick. Yes. So they are literally, he's in the middle, he's side to side, playing both masterfully done, masterfully done, masterfully done. No, uh, that. it's that not only not easy. Oh, yeah, that is that is world class. Now, however, I have to say one thing: is world class gamers do come to Baron Bay to game because world class target. They're world class target because Baron Bay. Most people who are tourists, they want to be game. The reason the gamers come to Baron Bay to game is because the targets are here. The targets are all here. That's the reality. I don't want to show you guys something, but I'm, we are looking at some bathers that has already fully gone on 100%. Do you see that? This, you don't see it? Do you see it? Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I okay. So, I just want you guys to understand, this is the target reach audience. So, any gamers come to Byron play the game. And by Morpheus watching this video, you know where you can go, but you have seen what this guy can do. He is still walking down that beach. Yeah. Okay, just give a reference how far they have gone. I thought they might be walking all the way up to the end of the headland. You know, to where the balcony is. Up yeah. The stairs. They couldn't even just keep walking up to the floor. I can't even see them on camera anymore. That's how far they have gone. They're very, very far. In the middle, somewhere, super far. I was zooming in as far as I can. Well, he might have a towel or set up at the yeah. beach. Okay, the video is over because my battery is running out. That's a perfect conclusion for the day. I thought originally if I made a conclusion video, this is the true conclusion. Somebody demonstrated game to both of us and I was able to comment on that. Master put it down. He used everything to his disposal. This is a master game. You deserve to get stuck by those. <laughs> That's just exercise. <laughs> that is a master game. Master game. You don't get there through a lot more. No, there's not a lot. 100% skill. Everything's skill. That was 100% skill on this play. 100%. Yes. Alright. Alright. That's correct. Yeah, once you get to that level, you're talking about what that Non-stop. Yeah, you don't need to survive. You don't need to survive. Yeah. It also proves that you can be a super player without having to be Alright. 
not why you did it. My guys just got pulled in five. This is a kid, almost a kilometer of walk. Of course. Of course they are. They don't care. They don't care. Absolutely not. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll play a prank and leave our uh, <laughs> YouTube channel behind. <laughs> Should we do that? Just go right down the YouTube channel on the thing and say you are on YouTube. <laughs> okay, people, I'm giving you a round around shot of Byron Bay. The actual bay. Give you guys an idea how it looks like here. Today is actually fairly busy and guess where Corey is positioned? Look at that. The perfect positioning of a predator. <laughs> he even lay out like a puma, like a cheetah or puma <laughs> sitting up high there on the tree. <laughs> Anybody who is walking by gets checked out <laughs> and everybody can see him. That's the amazing part. I didn't realize how visible he is. Hey Corey, your position is perfect. Everyone basically have no choice but to look up to you. Yeah. They don't have a choice. This is like a perfect position in a perf. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, zoom out a little bit. See what you can see. So he has a view of the entire beach. And anybody who walk by will get a checkout first. Yeah. So put myself on camera I hope the audio is good enough for this so I would think about filming the market more but I'm tired we have now more than three hours of footage collected all together for the day for the rest of the day we're gonna go private we're not gonna make any more videos we will be going for the market plus maybe go for a walk at the uh, Cape go take a look at other properties if I can other than that before sunset we might go for a dip in the in the lake nearby all that I might not document any of that stuff but in general you guys get an idea how lifestyle is like here in Gold Coast, Byron Bay or other places so just be aware that um, you want this kind of lifestyle you have to invest in the right asset class and be ready to do anything that it takes to change your life if you're not willing to change life you think everything else changes around you you're deadly wrong. You gotta change your own life first before anything else changes around you. So you wanna surf in Byron, like us? You gotta change your mind, change your attitude, change everything about you, rewire your brain. That's the whole thing. So you decide what you want to do with your life. Join us for the Surfing Angels 2022 on the Gold Coast, in Byron Bay, in Sunshine Coast, Noosa, Brisbane, all those places you get to decide all right let me know if you're interested in be part of the cast because we're gonna do amazing things this year just remember that all right background shot of the Byron Bay's uh, lighthouse and that's all for the day one day footage that's long enough bye